So here we are, back where it all started for me, my hometown of Trondheim, Norway. I want to spend these few minutes to summarize in some ways uh, what I've been trying to pass on in this DVD. And I have created this 10 steps to become a photographer list. Now, you should not take this list too literal. It's just a little uh, summary, really, of the things that I found important that's been helpful to me in my photographic development. So here goes. Number one, it's to define to yourself what you are drawn to visually and you have to develop um, an awareness of your identity and your photographic DNA. That's where it all starts. Don't go chasing trends. Don't go and do what other people do. Realize what you're innately drawn to. That's where it starts and that's where the amazing pictures are. Um, the second one is about photographic tools and become aware of the tools you have to craft your pictures. And this is not just cameras and technical tools. It really is the visual tools and the emotional content that you choose to photograph. And most importantly, see and understand light. The third one, which has been really instrumental to me in my career, it's to seek out a mentor. Learn from the people that came before you. Learn from the old masters. And I haven't been where I am today without the advice and help of others. So don't be embarrassed to ask for help. Seek help where you can find it and find someone that's willing to give of themselves and share their knowledge. Um, I think you'll benefit greatly from the old concept of a mentor. Number four is to make rather than take. Create pictures rather than just snapping them. Uh, this is probably my main message in this DVD and we've been through this over and over again. Uh, choose the content, choose the light, choose the emotions that you want to capture and include in your pictures. Don't go out and take pictures, make pictures. Number five is really, really important to me as it has come to me later in my career. It's something that I've been really working on the last couple of years. It's to connect with the place and the people that you're photographing. Don't just show up and take a picture of someone or a place, but ask yourself what that place means to you or who that person is and what kind of emotions you have relating to that person. That's where the great pictures are. Add emotional connection to the place and to the people that you're choosing to take pictures of. Number six, which is a big one for me, it's, um, it's setting goals and pursue those goals with tenacity. Um, now, if these goals you set don't intimidate you, then set new ones. You can't say that, oh, I'm gonna get up this morning, because that you will do. You have to set goals higher. You have to say, I wanna shoot for that and that and that magazine, or I wanna photograph that and that person. Pin that to the wall and hold yourself to it. Strive to get there. That's the only way that you're gonna see progress in your work, by striving to do better. Number seven, shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, it really is about exercising your creative muscle because that's truly what it is. I like to compare it to athletes. They work out you know, seven days a week, twice a day sometimes, and that's what it takes to become great at something. And your imagination, your creativity, that is a muscle. You can't expect to take one picture a week and you know, think you're gonna get better. You have to be immersed in picture taking and with photography and art and all those things that will nurture your own picture making. Number eight. Photoshop. Now, you have to use Photoshop as a tool to infuse yourself into pixels. In the digital cameras nowadays, there's ones and zeros being computed by a machine. There's no personality there, so you have to infuse yourself into the pictures, and the tool we have to do so is Photoshop. So, ask yourself what you felt when you took a picture. Ask yourself what you feel now that you're retouching the image, and infuse those emotions. Make sure that Photoshop is used to help convey a feel and a mood. Number nine is marketing. You have to define to yourself who your audience is, who uses your pictures and who do you want to shoot for and then market yourself to this audience. Let them know that you're there and that you're producing great work. Number 10 is the most important one. It's to not give up on your dream of becoming a better photographer. One of my favorite quotes ever goes like this. There's no such thing as failure. There's only giving up. So do not give up on your passion, on your dream of becoming a better, better photographer. Keep pursuing it with tenacity, with all your heart. I wish you the best of luck 
on this crazy journey, it is taking pictures.